something new. Thank you to Ring for sponsoring today's video. You never know what we might find when you're with me and I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you having a good morning? What's up, guys? Good morning. Hope you guys are having a good morning. Leo's having a great morning, and I feel like he's turned a corner lately. He's like becoming more interactive. He's like learning to roll over, and this is the beginning of the end of our sanity, I'm afraid, because once he becomes mobile, things are gonna be a lot crazier. And I'm, I'm actually really excited for it, but. Today we're gonna to be doing a little bit different style video. We're gonna be doing a Q&A where we're gonna be answering a lot of your guys' questions, mostly targeted towards our van build business, Mountain Made Vans. Uh, Allie and I are gonna be answering a lot of questions. Maybe Leo will answer a question or two. And then uh, Matt and Bryce are gonna answer some questions a little bit later on. But the first thing we have to do today before we head down to the van shop is we're actually gonna be installing our new security system from Ring. And Ring is the sponsor of today's video. The Ring Alarm Pro is the new standard in home security by Ring. And it's been really nice for us. They have different camera sensors and motion sensors that we can install in every room of the house that helps keep us safe even when we're not here. So we've used a lot of different security systems in the past and I'm really excited to try out this new Ring Alarm Pro system because it's connected to the Ring cameras. Now, Ring started out as a video doorbell and they've just kind of built onto this like empire of like really easy to use really functional camera systems and now there's a full like monitored alarm system that goes in your entire house like this is our doorbell that goes out of the front of our house and it'll actually alert us if there's any motion at the front of the house so that we know if people are coming up the stairs or coming to the house and now we'll actually know whether or not doors are being opened or windows are being opened or if there's motion inside the house I'm really excited to try this thing out so actually one of the most unique things about the Alarm Pro system from Ring is this device right here. Now this actually connects all of the sensors and the cameras and everything together in one central part. The coolest thing about this is that since your security system usually uses your modem, if your internet goes out, you completely lose connection. Well, not with this system. It has a cellular backup connection. So if your internet is cut out for any reason, your internet actually stays online with this cellular connection and so does your security system. It's a really, really cool feature, and it's really easy to set up. Literally, you just plug everything in, open up the app on your phone, connect all of the devices. It's really user-friendly, it's super easy to install, and like I said, it's actually gonna protect you if the internet goes out. That's like a feature that I don't think anybody else has thought of. This ring system is awesome, I'm super excited, and it's just nice peace of mind knowing that we have great security in place at all times, no matter what. We are getting things ready now to hit the road. We have to head down to Mountain Maid Vans. And one of the questions that we've been getting a ton from you guys is, are customers allowed or are people allowed to come visit the shop? And the answer is, eventually. Right now, we are just really focused on like working out all the processes, making sure it's super safe. We don't want anyone to come and accidentally get hurt at the shop. It's a construction site, it's a warehouse, um, it's industrial. Eventually, we would love to have people come and visit but that's probably not gonna be for a few more months. And one of the main things here is that our insurance actually doesn't cover customers in the oh, shop, yeah. so it is a liability and <laughs> nobody can come into the shop, unfortunately. For now. All right, Leo is uh, becoming harder to change because now he's discovered that he can grab onto his feet, which is really exciting because that's what's helping him be able to roll. I needed to uh, basically give him a quick diaper change before we hit the road. And I wanted to answer a question a little bit about Leo in regards to a van. A lot of people have been asking, are we gonna take Leo in a van? Are we gonna have a new van? I'm obviously failing at trying to put his <laughs> pants on right now. And, <sighs> Yeah. And the answer is yes. We are going to be building a new van that's gonna be able to... I know, Daddy's trying. I'm trying my best here. We are gonna be building a new van that's gonna be able to house Leo. Hopefully it's gonna be able to like seat or sleep four people. And uh, who knows how long that's gonna be. Hopefully it's soon because we wanna get Leo out on as many adventures as possible because we want this guy to turn out like us with an appetite for exploration and discovery and just having fun outdoors. And I think he's gonna either way, but excuse you. The answer is yes. We are gonna be building a new van that's gonna be able to house Leo. I just don't know when it's gonna be and I'm doing a terrible job. <laughs> 
<laughs> Another question we get all the time is, can we build a van to accommodate your kids? A lot, a lot of people want to travel with their kids or with their friends, and the answer is yes. We can totally build any layout that you have in mind. We have a couple options already that we have um, tested out that we know will fit to sleep for adults and eat for adults and have seat belts to safely drive for adults. So that's definitely something in the works, but basically if you can dream it, we can build it. So any layout is uh, open to the opportunity to be built and we're really excited for our own van build sometime in the near future. The delay started. Sat there, you and I. The river's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. The river's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. The river's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. The river's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. The river's gonna cry when you're gone. The river's gonna cry when you're gone. Every day is the best day ever. Look at those eyes. <laughs> <laughs> he rolled over for the first time yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're rolling that. over now, huh? So, you guys, we're filming a Q&A about Mountain Made Vans. What type of vans do we build out here at Mountain Made Vans? <laughs> well, I mean, all of us in the group have built out Pro Masters, and that's the, the first van that we built out. We are delving into the Mercedes Sprinter coming up next, and we're pretty much open. So if you have a Ford Transit or something else, we're definitely down for that. Bryce, a lot of people are wondering. <laughs> yes. <laughs> is your Westie for sale? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> it's a love-hate relationship, and she will never go up for sale, <laughs> ever, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Like, how many people does it take? Just, uh... Three. Another question that we get a lot is, does the van come with the build? So this is gonna be confusing, but these first two vans, we actually bought the vans and we're doing the full build and then we're gonna sell those vans. But after these two vans are done, we're basically only working on customers' vans, which means a customer secures the van, they bring it to us, and then they pay us to do the build out, and that's it. So no, our prices do not include the price of the van. The prices are just for the van build. All right, so another question that we're getting quite a bit is people want to know if we're doing like one-off projects or remodels or fixing up people's vans, like what we're doing in Pamela Vanderson right now, 1.0, which is doing like new paint and remodeling the cabinets and putting in new appliances. And the answer is not right now. Right now we have two van builders and then Allie and I, and we just don't really have the manpower to be taking on one-off jobs. We're focusing solely on full van builds right now. And we have quite the waiting list that's already developing. So we want to stay true to those customers who have actually put deposits down to get their vans built. And we're actually going to be doing just van builds right now. And if you're wondering about the process to get your van built out by Mountain Made Vans, we have a wait list that you can join. There's a non-refundable deposit that you have to pay in order to sign up, but then you reserve your spot in line. And right now we're booked out until mid to late 2023, and each van build takes about four to six months to build. So if you're thinking about getting your van built out, uh, sign up now because that wait list is only getting longer and longer. All right, so another question that we're getting a lot is how do you stay safe in a van? So staying safe in a van is one of those things that can make you uneasy depending on where you're parked or maybe where you're leaving your van for short or extended periods of time. And you can put a security system in your van. So it kind of goes along with today's sponsor, which is Ring. You could definitely install a Ring security system in here. You can use a hotspot or you can use a router that people have that you can connect to a SIM card. And that'll actually give you internet access so that you can check your Ring system even remotely. Like for instance, right now, 
I can actually pull up the camera from our front door and see what's going on at the house. I can actually check the ring camera on our front porch and I can see that there's nobody there because we're all here right now. But if somebody did show up, it would give me a notification and it would tell me that someone's at the front door and I can not only see them, but I can actually talk to them through the ring camera, which is super awesome. Also, I can check the Alarm Pro and make sure that none of the sensors have been triggered and that the alarm hasn't gone off. And you can do the same thing in your van, no matter where it is, as long as it has an internet connection. For oh, one second. Okay. You can hold me. <laughs> <laughs> You're a minor. <sighs> All right, so another question that we're getting a lot of is about our battery bank systems in our vans. So as you guys can see, there's a big open space here for a lot of storage. Now in my van, a lot of that space was actually taken up by the batteries themselves and then all of the other components that go with it. So we've actually decided to go with Goal Zero's Yeti X line. The 3000X and the 6000X are options that we use in our van builds. So they have 250 and about 500 amp hours of battery storage. Now, they're a lithium ion battery. So they're a little bit different than like AGM or lithium iron, which is different types of batteries. And the Yeti 3000X and 6000X, everything is built into a nice, small, compact system. It's got the charge controller, the inverter, the car link, your you know your ac and your dc outputs everything is built into a nice easy box that if one something goes wrong you can pull that box out warranty it or replace it and put it back in two it saves a ton of space and it's extremely optimized so that the battery power charges as fast as possible and lasts as long as possible also it's extremely user friendly and they have wi-fi connectivity to your cell phone so that you can check all of the data coming in and out and charges and Basically, any information that you need from the Yeti, you can get on your phone through the Goal Zero app, and it's super user-friendly. We absolutely love these systems, and I've been testing it super heavily in the Forerunner, and I know lots of people that use these in van builds, and they're very happy with them, so we're excited to use them in our van builds. Trent, in a Q&A from three years ago, you said that you would never want to have a van build business. What changed? Oh, who went back and found that? People change, and uh, I think really like having the right team of people like in the van build business makes all of the difference. I think when I said that was the fact that I didn't want to build vans in my driveway for a living. <laughs> Building vans in a shop, totally different environment, especially when it's snowing outside, and also having like really good people working in a business with you makes all of the difference. Matt, why not use 8020? I mean, we use 8020, which is built into the rack, mm -hmm. um, but inside the build, I think we like the uh, beautiful house feel rather than just the cold, sterile environment of a aluminum box. <laughs> yeah. I think there's a lot of benefits to using 8020. Um, like you could build a bed frame out of 8020 and things like that, which would probably save some time and some space. But when we were actually starting and sourcing out this build, 8020 was like on back order because it was like everybody's like project material. So we were having trouble sourcing it. But also like when you're building cabinets and things, if you want them to be like a nice, like homey cabinet feel, you've got to build like cabinets like you'd have in your house. You can't build an 80-20 frame and put like plywood on the outside of it because it's just not the same. <laughs> All right, so the last question that we had for today is people will keep asking if the vans are going to be for rent. And the answer is no. These two vans here, as soon as they're done being built, are going to be sold. And then from there on out, we're not actually gonna be owning any of the vans. They're gonna be customer owned and we're just gonna be doing the builds. I know this is a Q&A that's been directed by uh, our followers, but I wanted to ask everybody a question and that's what do you like about working for, with, as Mountain Made Vans? We're all the partners of Mountain Made Vans, so nobody here is actually an employee. We're all like owners and partners, but I guess, uh, Matt, what do, you, what do you like about this business? I mean, the biggest thing for me is I've had my own YouTube channel and tried to share building vans, uh, and it's something that's near and dear to my heart, and I like helping people out, and I wanted to bring something that I felt was awesome to the public. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Bryce? Um, my old job was working for the government, and just helping them build laboratories and hangars, so it feels <laughs> nice to be building something that helps build memories and make people happy. So, that's well, good. Yeah. What about you? 
Yeah, I think it's amazing that we're able to give people the opportunity to do something that they enjoy, especially after having experienced it all for ourselves. We've all lived and traveled in vans to a certain extent. We've all built our own vans. And it's just so wonderful to be able to give that gift to some of you. And I, I just think it's really cool to be able to use like uh, a lot of our collaborative spirit and our creative ideas to come up with like ways to solve problems that either haven't been thought of before or haven't been done the way that we're doing them. And I'm really excited to like be able to share these van builds with people that I know are going to love and enjoy them. So, all right, guys, I think that's probably going to do it for us today as far as the Q&A goes. But I did want to mention our sponsor, Ring. And if you guys want to learn more about the Ring Alarm Pro, go to ring.com or click the link in our description. Thanks again to Ring for sponsoring today's video. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.